Sherraw, Marlboro County, two old rivals renewing that rivalry tonight in Bennettsville. We get it going here. Darius Grant looking pretty good early on in the season. Young man is young, but he's got some talent and he makes things look pretty good here. Scampers picks up some uh, nice real estate there before he's brought down. Later on, Grant again. He's going to throw this one up. Brown comes down with this, dodges a couple players, and finds himself a little pay dirt as that would uh, get Marlboro County on the board. Sherraw looking to answer. Tyson Hall back to pass. Josh Hubbard is going to be there along with Ishmael Sloan, the all zoner, to drop him. Hall and company still moving. Another pass sets up a Jalen Coit opportunity to put six on the board. That right there is why that young man is going to be playing big time D1 football. He is legit. That would prove to be the game winner there as Sherraw goes in to Marlboro County and beats the Bulldogs 14 to 10 as the Bulldogs drop to one and one. Braves go to two and zero oh on the young season as they now head home to take on Chesterfield. As for the Bulldogs, very good game tonight. Just came up on the wrong end of the stick. Nevertheless, though, they'll go back to work this week, preparing themselves for next week's ABC 15 end zone game of the week when Skyland County comes to Bennettsville to take on the Dogs. Speaking of Marlboro County, joining us live from Bennettsville is Bobby Collins, a new head football coach for the Marlboro County Bulldogs. And coach, thanks for joining us this evening. Hey, I know you came up on the wrong end of the ledger tonight, but you have to be proud of your team. They fought hard, just came up a tad bit short. <clears throat> Yeah, we fought hard for four quarters. You know, I'm, I'm pleased with the uh, the guys, the effort and the attitude. We got a lot of mistakes. We got to get cleaned up. <clears throat> a lot of penalties tonight. You know, you can't um you can't have that many penalties and try to get yourself in a situation to be able to win the football game. Talk about the development of your quarterback. What you've seen from him. I know it was a three way battle between a couple of individuals, but you went with Grant. What have you seen from him in the first two games? Well, you know, Darius has the ability to let the plays roll off of him, man. You know, game one against Ridgeland Hardeville, he made a lot of football plays for us. I think we just have to uh, cut the field in half for him, try to figure out a way to get the football out of his hand a little bit faster. And, um, you know, he, he went for about a 50-yard run on the first play of the game, so we're going to have to involve his legs a little bit more, but get the ball out of his hand faster. And, you know, take the pressure off of him, thinking he has to win the football game for us and, and manage it and spread the ball around just a little bit more. Coach, you've been at Marlboro County now for several months. You took this team through spring into fall and now two games in. Do you feel like this program is now becoming Bobby Collins football program? Yeah, I know everybody in the stands and I wouldn't believe it, but I, I feel that way. We got to do a little bit better job of being able to run the football. You know, uh, we got two talented running backs. Um, so we just we just started off the game with so many drives of first and 20 and first and 15 by just careless mistakes. So I think once we get back to playing Bulldog football, running the football, play action passes, and giving our quarterback a chance to make some quick reads and get the balls out of his hands, I think we'll be fine. You know, a lot of coaches use the non-region as a preseason schedule, so to speak. Obviously, you want to pick up wins, but it's also a teaching moment. Is that what it is for you right now, a teaching opportunity for these guys before you go into region? Yeah, without a doubt, man. I think we're in one of the toughest regions in the state. But, I mean, you look at our non-conference schedule, playing Sherrall, I think Sherrall's going to have a chance. They're playing two-way football. I think they're going to win a lot of games this year. Uh, Division one defensive tackle, Division one wide receiver. But, I mean, it doesn't get any easier. I think I just heard you say that we'll be the game of the week next week going against Scotland County. So, I mean, um, from coaching in North Carolina for the last 10 years before going to Lancaster, I know Scotland County has tough football, but – this is why you coach. We're going we're gonna to go back to the drawing board on Monday, and you know we're not going to reinvent the wheel. We're just going to try to focus on us, try to focus on getting better at the little stuff and eliminate mistakes to be able to give ourselves a chance to win. I know you've only been there a short time, but do you, have you heard already about what this rivalry is between you guys in Scotland County and what it means for those folks in Bennettsville to beat the Scots because of the location and just the ongoing rivalry there? Man, I hear about the Marlboro County, Scotland County uh, rivalry every day. Just not any day, but every day. So I know the uh, Marlboro, you know, Coach Boyd did a good job. They had a win last year in Scotland County. So very similar to Sherrall. 
they're coming back to us this year trying to redeem themselves. But, you know, we, we, we're really not going to focus on Scotland. We're going to focus on Marlboro County. We're going to focus on cleaning up all our mistakes, making sure we can do all the little things right, special teams, offense, defense, control what we can control. And I think we're going to be fine. All right, Coach. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you next week. Looking forward to the Scotland County Bulldog game. Coach, good luck next Friday. Thank you.